Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Parker. Welcome back to once again to another Call of Duty Mobile video today. And before we get right into everything, I quickly want to mention that I apologize for my voice. I just got done live streaming for close to five hours on a Call of Duty Mobile TV. Like, don't get me wrong, it was a lot of fun. A lot of guys tuned in. We had over 250 viewers at one point. We gained 400 subscribers, which is absolutely mind-blowing. And if you guys want to go and catch me there tomorrow, because I'm probably going to be streaming for one once again, another five hours. There will be a link down below in the description as well as in the pinned comment for you guys to go and watch me live. But with that said, there are two things that we're going to be going over in this video. Firstly, this new teaser that we got of a certain item coming soon to Call of Duty Mobile, most likely on the global release itself, as well as I'm going to be going over some of the settings that just came out for the brand making new update that just came out two days ago. So with that said, we might as well get right into the teaser here. Okay, that gets me extremely excited for the global release here. So the tweet actually goes as follows for what they said. They pretty much said, launching October 1st, what multiplayer map are you most excited for? And I did a little bit of a cheeky quote here. I said, Nuketown for right now, hopefully this one in the future. And then I just had an image of Rust there because, I, dude, I would really love to see Rust returning but into a Call of Duty mobile format. That'd be so nutty. But I kind of just want to go and break down this whole trailer here. And can we just acknowledge that in terms of the ping, the guy is currently on 115 ping. He's not even on 50 ping right now. That's a huge rip. But I guess without further ado, we might as well just go frame by frame here. Now I'm pretty sure for the sniper it's just the DLQ33 sniper so nothing too special about that. I'm trying to see if there's any other unique weapons. I, I think that guy's just using a weapon that we've seen before so we'll just kind of continue on here. We have Captain Price who would, would appear is just shooting on the map raid with his little sniper there so that's pretty awesome that little shot. For the next one here we have Ghost with the death machine on firing range so nothing special about that. I don't even think that the skin is a new skin at all. It actually looks like the wet work skin. So we'll just kind of continue on to the next one here. Now this pistol, this pistol actually looks like a new pistol. It almost reminds me of the wingman from Apex Legends, but maybe I could be wrong with saying that it is a new pistol. I don't really know for sure, but then you have the Vita Warship, which I got plenty of in today's stream. It was just so much fun, but he's just killing people. He has this rocket launcher and that was just the ghost skin once again. And he's going and gonna blow this bad boy up. Boom! And I'm also looking at their kill streaks just in case any of them are new. In order to appear that that is not the case. But as you guys can see, for the specialist right here. Yeah, those are the gravity spikes, ladies and gentlemen, and that really isn't even the best part, because if we just continue on here, he's just reloading his sniper. Once again, boom, another shot from Captain Price coming in. Bang! We have this pistol shot, which, once again, is this a new pistol? <laughs> Um, we have the Captain Price in the background as well as Ghost going in. We have the pistol once again. We have the Defender class being used by Captain Price. And then finally, the best part of this whole thing, just boom, going and using the gravity spikes. Look at this, dude. Holy smokes. He actually got a little bit of air there. Like, that's probably the most important thing that I was really interested in to see how they would go and implement this into the game. Because this game is supposed to be a boots on the ground type of game. But they literally added a mechanic that's specifically designed for games that aren't boots to the ground. And look at how high up this guy goes. Oh my god, this is like Michael Jordan about to do a slam dunk right here. Look at this. Dude, he almost goes as high as the bus here on Nuketown. What is wrong with this guy? Oh my god. These gravity spikes are going to be something else. And I'm really excited about this, man. And then boom. So what I'd have to imagine, if the gravity spikes... And oh god, I love this picture here. What the gravity spikes are probably going to end up being like is just... If, 
any enemies within the vicinity of these gravity spikes once you go and just slam them into the ground most likely those enemies are going to go and die so if you're playing a game mode like domination for example where there's a lot of enemies on the b flag and you roll up on them with the gravity spike specialist you'll probably be able to get so many crazy kill feeds by just going and using this but with that said we might as well talk about some of the setting changes that were recently made for this new update that came out for call of duty mobile so hopefully guys will enjoy this but let's get right into it it would appear that this whole ui system for call of duty mobile has changed like first off there's this little weird video thing up here that i'm looking at and it says watch a video for the following rewards so i have no idea what that means but we might as well go and watch it maybe oh hold up so there's apparently ads that you can go and watch in order to go and get some crates. So I guess that's somewhat of an interesting concept there. It's really weird that they would be doing this. All right, so the commercial just ended. Yeah, that's a little bit weird to me. Maybe that's just me, but boom, there we go. Rewards have been sent to your mailbox commander. All right, interesting. Then if we go into the store here, oh dang, okay. So we have some new weapons here. We have the RPD Color Burst. And this thing, it looks so nutty, what? <laughs> okay, hold on. The, the RPD Color Burst, what is the weapon perk? Reload a little bit faster when the mag is low, okay. Dude, this, now these are the types of skins that I actually really like. And then there was another one here. And okay, I might buy this one. The M4 Color Burst. Yo, oh my god. Increased movement speed slightly for a little while upon respawning. This weapon looks incredible, dude. Holy smokes. And then we just have some more in terms of just the concussions and flashbangs and smoke grenades. All right, I probably won't buy any of those, but uh, nevertheless, there should be some new crates. Oh, so there's a celebration bundle, a season weapon crate bundle, and then a daily crate one. So that's somewhat interesting there, I guess. We have some more weapons here in the store. We have melon. What in the world? <laughs> Okay. Oh, yo. So on my live stream, when I was live streaming yesterday on Call of Duty Mobile, there was a guy called the Watermelon who was actually in my private Battle Royale game. So Watermelon, if you're out there watching this video right now, this would be the weapon skin for you, my dude. Holy smokes. And then we have a Knife Magic Bowl. All right. Like we have so many of these. Oh, the Frag Grenade Magical Eye. So for you guys that don't know, I actually have the knife version of the skin that costed me $50, by the way. So it's really interesting that they have it on not only grenades, but flashbang grenades as well and smoke grenade. So that's interesting. We have the flashbang color burst. So yeah, boom, there we go. Oh, and then we have Neon Tiger. Like that actually doesn't look half bad if I'm being completely honest there, but... Yeah, man, that is some interesting stuff. And oh, we even have the Magical Eye on these weapons. Okay, there we go. The M4 Magical Eye actually looks pretty awesome there. We have the S36 Magical Eye. The BY-15 Magical Eye, which looks awesome as well. And then finally, the M21 EBR Magical Eye. Okay, all these look really fascinating, man. All right, we'll go into this section, which is maybe just like the skin section so there's a melon camo parachute oh yo okay that actually looks pretty awesome <laughs> in my opinion i know that may be a little bit weird of me to say because it's literally just fruit that's on this but that that actually looks pretty cool and that might be the only one that's new in my opinion like there's the fashion purple helicopter oh gosh like okay no joke if this camo had the like the watermelon stuff on it then maybe i would have went and bought it but since it has the fashion purple i'm not really a big fan of the fashion purple but we can go on to the the XP card here, which nothing is really new for this. Oh, for the credits here, we have the M4 LMG, which kills prevent revealing victim death location and then a 10% player XP increase, which is pretty incredible. That's going to be for 20,000 credits. We have this AK-117 Balloons, which is absolutely new, which I could purchase if I wanted to, but I don't know if I want to go and do that right now, but increase movement speed slightly for a little upon respawning. All right, 
we have the striker light wave which oh you know what i thought this was going to be a lot better looking um so i probably will skip on that even though i really do like the striker as a shotgun we have this aks 74u dawn of which ooh, i actually kind of like that i like that white and gray on it and i don't yeah that's actually on that weapon there for a second i thought it might have just been the shadow but yeah dude this gun actually looks pretty awesome looking okay we have the ul here with the zombie gene nothing too special the lk at 24 with the yellow triangle which is okay again and then the spray ghost toy which i already have all right so that's everything for the store if we go into battle points exclusive so there's one more day left on this battle pass until we go and get some new stuff which i'm really excited about so there's probably going to be a video of me talking about everything that's going to be in the new battle pass because this isn't going to be the pre-season one battle pass like this is going to be the season one battle pass everything should be extremely new here new stuff that we've never seen before which i'm really looking forward to and uh so that should be a lot of fun if we go into daily logins it's just like the same exact system as before but there are these like blue battle crates which i don't know if they're the same exact thing as the other battle crates that we've gotten in the past because they're a different color don't really know for sure but i'd have to imagine they're probably the same thing let's go into my profile and see if there's anything new here because i'd have to imagine they might have updated some things but just through Looking through all the leveling up here, I don't think that there's anything new. I'd have to imagine still at 150, there's going to be, yeah, this M4 LMG Crimson Vampire. So there's nothing new in terms of just like the leveling up system or anything like that. Let's see what we have in our mailbox here. So, oh dang, we have some rewards. So this is probably just through going and watching that ad. Nice. We have a ranked match preseason reward. Okay, so this is probably just all the ranked season rewards that I've been getting, which is awesome. We have a social account link reward. So if you guys have not already done so, be sure to go and link your Facebook so that you can go and claim that. I have just some of these, and these are just through you guys going and sending me these Weapon XP cards. So thank you all so very much for that. We can probably go into our friends list here. And yeah, so Facebook friend, which is, oh, that's interesting. Uh, friends, recent teammates, and then add friends. So in the patch notes, they did say that you should have the ability to do something with notifications. And I wonder if that's going to be like mute notifications. So if anything, that would be in the settings here. But we can might as well just like go and see. Did they change the settings? Oh, they did not. Let's go. Okay, nice. So all my settings are the same in terms of that. It'll be interesting to see BR mode. Did they change it at all? Nope. Everything's the same exact thing, which is perfect for me. I wonder what this setting is. Oh, oh, so you could change whether or not you want to hit fire or ADS with specific weapons. That's awesome. Might as well go and click on basic here. Kind of see aim assist, quick run, fixed R fire BTN. Don't really know what that means. ADS, tap to ADS. Yes. Uh, display left fire button, okay, uh, slide, tap, yep, that's normal, everything is normal so far, it's alright, I guess that's pretty perfect, I wouldn't mind actually changing my FOB to something a little bit higher, I think 75 is perfect there, so that's awesome, we have the BR mode, everything looks about normal here as well, so it's cool that they didn't really tinker around that much with the settings here. FOB range for his person at 50. You know what? Let's actually bump that up to 75 there as well. We have the audio and graphics at very high. Reduce to improve performance, prevent overheating, or conserve power. All right. There's a little tips and tricks right there. Um, all of these other ones, I'm pretty sure have already been in the game. We might as well turn on both of these. Um, boom. There we go. And I don't know if I had real-time shadow. Was that an actual thing that was implemented in this game already? Because I don't think it was. Because the maps in Call of Duty Mobile should now actually look a lot better, as well as the game performance should be a lot better. And the unfortunate thing is, too, they changed the BR mode graphic style. Rather than saying Modern Warfare and Black Ops, they now just have Dynamic and Standard, which is a little bit sad. But we'll go on to Sensitivity... It would appear that they did not change anything here, which is obviously a good sign, but I don't think there's anything that's new in terms of that. And then BR, everything is looking the same here, which is perfect. So now we have the BR settings. 
which everything looks somewhat normal once again i don't think anyone's new the quick message which is just for like communication which i barely ever used we have the language and then we have other here so i don't really see a location for you to go and mute notifications i'm hoping it's somewhere here because that's one thing that they definitely need is a mute notifications button and then oh gosh i have some more requests here it would be awesome if they went and extended out the list yeah you cannot add new friend what else did it say the friend list yeah so there's a limit on how many friends you could have i wish that was not a thing that would be actually really awesome if they could go and increase the amount of people who you could have on your friends list maybe that's just me but and also if we go into multiplayer here like this whole map selection thing is going to be completely different as well the layout is a lot more optimized in my opinion so this is actually pretty cool. There's the new practice versus AI mode, which is awesome. And you can go and pick whatever map you want, just like normal. So boom, that's the new UI system for multiplayer. We're gonna go and check out and see what the battle royale is all about. And oh dang, so we're actually going back. So this was, or that rank that it was just on was my preseason one, but now going into season one, I'm now rank number one. And if I'm not mistaken, yeah, duos as well as solos have now been added into Call of Duty Mobile Battle Royale, which is very awesome. I'm so looking forward to that. That should be so much fun. Guys, I have so many videos planned for today, so it should be a lot of fun just hopping right into everything. But I'm going to plan on playing some games of both multiplayer as well as Battle Royale. So I'm going to go and play and react to everything that's new on that. So if you guys want to go and watch those videos, they should be uploaded sometime in the next few hours from now. So be sure to go and subscribe with notifications on to be notified when that goes live. But with that said, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Parker. Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful and fabulous today because I certainly am. And I guess I'll talk to you guys in the next video.